All right, so today we're going to talk about how to benchmark your putting distance because as most of you know, speed control, distance control is the most important factor in preventing three putts. If you're offline a little bit, but you're close on the distance, you're going to make the second putt most of the time. Problem is a lot of us like me play on different greens and different courses a lot of the time, or the conditions change because it's dry or they didn't mow as often or that kind of thing. How do you get a benchmark so that when you're playing your round of golf, you get an accurate distance? Here's how I do that on the practice green. I'm about to play a round of golf and I want to benchmark the distance so that I know I've got a pretty accurate tell or feel. And speaking of feel, a lot of people talk about, oh, I just judge distance by feel. Well, my problem with feel is, and I like that, but my problem is some days I ate a bad burrito and I don't feel the same. Other days the cart girl flirts with me and winks at me and I have a different feeling. So judging by feel is not very accurate. Here's what you do. Take three balls, go out on the practice green, and kind of get a baseline or a benchmark stroke. Like, and you're not going at a target or a hole. Yeah, about that pace is what I'm going to use. And you line up and you try as best you can to hit three balls in a row at that same pace. And it doesn't matter what that pace is as long as you're feeling it yourself. Okay, I tried to hit those three the same. So let's walk from here to those balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're all between eight and nine paces. That one is a little bit of a downhill putt. Okay, so if I'm going downhill, my baseline or benchmark stroke is somewhere between an eight and a nine. I'm going to call it an eight on a downhill. <laughs> okay, so now let's do the same stroke going back uphill. And I'm going to try my best to do the same stroke. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now I know on this course with a basic downhill putt, my baseline is eight. With an uphill putt, my baseline is six. Okay, so steps. Well, then you get on the, the green in, in the round and you go, oh, this is a little bit uphill and it's eight steps. I'm going to hit my basic stroke. No, oh, it's 12 steps. Yeah, 12 is 8 plus half of 8 again, so I've got to hit my basic stroke plus another half. Downhill, and you just calculate it from there. Or at least you have a feel for that. You can do the same thing or a very similar thing. If you want to call your base 10 and double the base distance is a 20 and half the base distance is a 5. You get the idea, that helps me calibrate a whole lot so that I'm at least close on the distance. Especially helpful on the longer putts on a lot of greens. Try that, comment below on what you think, how that helped you or did, didn't help you or did or didn't work for you. Also comment, give us suggestions on other videos and putting tips and tricks and drills you'd like to see. And of course, as always, we'd appreciate it if you'd like subscribe and share. I simply think videos like this ought to get thousands of likes and shares. And as always, here's to you making more putts. Mm -hmm.